Hello everybody, Tim here again. Uh, welcome to another fun-filled, excited, exciting uh, installation of Tim Time. So what I have here is uh, I've got a resistor, a um, one of these aluminum body power resistors. And here I have one. It's uh, allegedly a 10 watt 500 ohm and it was a uh, an Amazon deal where you got two of them for I don't know seven or eight dollars. I don't know. I needed them and I thought I'll try the you know what can go wrong with power resistor. So uh, in the meantime this is an Ohmite OH I think it's OHMITE uh, supposedly 500 ohm 10 watt resistor uh, definitely a little smaller but anyhow what I want to do is I just want to kind of compare the two because what happened originally was the one I had in here it got warm and it finally burned out but also the uh, the leads like this leads about to fall off of this so let me see if I have the other one let me take a look at it real quick Yeah, here was the original one I had in there, and, and you can see the lead just pulled right out of it. And, uh, well, that one seems pretty tight. But anyhow, I want to check. I just want to see what I want to do is see how warm this gets. So I'm going to, well, let's start run for about five minutes. And then I have a handy-dandy temperature gun here. And we'll see from about this distance away what the temperature is. That's saying 63.1 right now Fahrenheit. That's there's no power to it at all whatsoever. 63.0 62.9 so uh, maybe we'll get a ruler and measure the distance. I want to do that while it's bolted to the chassis and see what the difference is between that and the unbolted and then we're going to put this the new one in made by Ohmite and, and check that the same way. Uh, and as you can see, this looks a little bit different. I don't know if you can really get in there and see how that looks a little bit different. But uh, these are definitely right in the center of the resistor, and it looks like they're looks like the glue or that black stuff is is in there around almost as a sealer, whereas on the other one. definitely not not in the center and this one here was way down at the bottom and uh, it almost looks more like a glue I don't know but anyhow we'll check and see with this one off so first thing I want to do is start it and run it for about five minutes and uh, I'll get my my clock and we'll go by five minutes and then we'll check the temperature and we'll measure the distance so give me a few minutes and we'll see okay so it's been on for about five minutes um, We'll start with this. At least if I get right to about an inch and a half, we'll say an inch and a half right there. I actually can move the radio more this way. For an inch and a half, and let's see what happens. I don't know if you'll be able to see that readout or not, but I'll yell it out. Let's get it down to. The point there, 80.80.2, So that's what that is. So what I'm going to do now is move it away from the case, take the screws out, move it away so it doesn't heat sink to the case, and we'll see what the temperature is there. Then we're going to put the new one in and try the exact same thing and see what we get. Okay, so one of the things I found in there is uh, you definitely feel it's warmer when you take it away. But my temperature gun, again, it's just a cheapie when I borrowed it from my wife <laughs> for uh, checking animal cages or something, I don't know. But uh, if you look at it, when it's right on there, temperature saying about a hundred and some. But as I get it up a little bit higher, it goes up higher to about 147. So we'll go from here and I'm going to scan around to get the temperature. So 
So we'll give it again about, we'll start again around the inch and a half out. And I'm going to scan around for the highest temperature. So there's about an inch and a half. 158, 159, 170, 170, and then it's dropping back down. So it looks on my point right at the edge here. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. Right at the edge of the frame, it's about 175. And I point right at the top of the resistor like I was doing before, it's saying about 104. When I point it right in the middle of the resistor, it goes down to about 76, which I know it's definitely warmer than that. Yeah, it's it's definitely hot to the touch. So we'll try, we'll put the other one on and we'll see what kind of what we have to do to aim to get the temperature for this one. And uh, then we'll bolt it back on. Unfortunately, it wouldn't be the best test now because I find when I scanned around, as you saw, the, the temperature changed. But we'll put it on there and, and see what we get. Uh, the main thing I was curious is when it's pulled away from the frame because that's when it's going to duct most of the cooling is when it's bolted to the frame. So I'd say that was about the most, what were we saying, right in the area of 170. So let's I'm pull that off, put this one on, we'll let it run again. And I did check it, it's 500 ohms or 0.5k ohms. Uh, boy, it's a lot smaller than if you look at it. You can see how those posts come directly out of the center. seems to be that this looks to be made a little more durable so let me uh, let me get this one in and I may only use one bolt to hold this in because the other ones uh, that one seemed to be bigger but I'll see what happens so we'll be right back okay new resistors in it's warmed up for about five now we'll check it that's the same thing inch and a half away and then I'll I'll scan around to like where I get the highest temperature. 170 right there drops down so right about the same spot I get the highest temperature when I point at the peak up there. 174, 173, 176 so in that general area. So it seems like the resistor gets about the same temperature in Fahrenheit. Uh, it is a little smaller. It's still allegedly rated at 10 watts. Um, construction looks a little bit better, so now I'm going to bolt it in there and we're going to check and see what the temperature is. We'll have to do it straight on like I did with the other one. So give me a few minutes to get that bolted in and we'll be right back. Okay. It's been on for about five minutes. It's uh, screw to the case now. We'll start a bot. Same thing. If you can see that it didn't screw up the last one. So let's see. There it is. I don't know if you can see this. I'll scan around. Let's see. 75, 76. 75 so it's about the same place as it was last time remember I told you that uh, I'd shoot about the same place which is about the middle or the uh, top edge of the resistor so now I'm going to scan for the highest temperature just to see what we get here 94 95 98 102 103 105 and then no 106 107 I don't know what what point I'm hitting the bottom of the transformer uh, but that's not really that warm. So I'd say around here 107 is probably about the peak. It looks like we got a 108. And then it drops down drastically. Uh, I can definitely feel it's getting very warm. Not hot. Very warm. I mean, I can keep my hand here all day long. Uh, so definitely bolting into the case takes away anything, any, any excess heat. And that's probably what gives it the 10 watt rating. Um, this was the one I took out, as you can see, this lead, I don't know if you can see it, 
it's all but falling out and pretty much coming out of there. And that one there really concerns me because that one's almost touching the metal on that bottom or the aluminum heat sink on the bottom. So anyhow, they were about two for the price of one of these. <clears throat> this is a more known brand. I believe these were like XL or whatever the uh, knockoff brands that uh, that uh, Amazon makes. You know, for a little project that you're doing something, these would probably be just fine. These these little little guys here, but inside the radio, I didn't want to have to keep messing with it. Um, I got that, but like I said, that's about twice the twice the cost. They're harder to get. They're harder to come by. Uh, I if I have to replace it again, I'm going to just go with end up going with the cement ones and fill a little bracket and put it right to the to the case to take away some of the heat. But uh, so let's see, what did we learn from it? As far as heat dissipation goes, it's about the same. Uh, I wish the test would have been better, but after I pulled it away, I'm not going to reattach the other one just because these are solid wires that come from underneath here and I don't want to break those uh, mess with them as little as possible the Elmites oh, about a th two-thirds the size of this um, the resistance was pretty much uh, within about 10 percent as was as was these ones I think they're supposed to be lower than it this was 4.9 something this was a little over 5 so probably much lower than 10 percent uh let's see what else do we have to say definitely use it with a heat sink i would recommend uh you'll get more durability out of it it lasts longer um, and again no, like i said no problem i can feel it's warm but you know definitely wouldn't burn me uh oh no just kidding um yeah, I expected really to see a whole lot more of that. I don't know what I expected to see. I mean, a resistor is a resistor, pretty much when it comes to dissipating the heat. Uh, the heat got to go somewhere, so that's all I have, and uh, <coughs> I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Thanks. Thanks for watching.